Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of the New York International Auto Show on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us. I am so excited. We're here at the Jacob K. Javits Center. It's the New York International Auto Show 2016, and we're just having a lot of fun. We're, we're, we're doing a lot of cool stuff. We're live from the floor before. We'll be live from the floor again. We're live on set from the floor, if that makes any sense. At Be Terrific TV on all social media, you are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to keep sending your wonderful feedback to connect at BeTerrific.com. And if you'd like to join our Slack chat, send us an email, connect at BeTerrific.com. Give us your name and the fact that you'd like to join the Slack chat, and we will send you an invite. It is awesome. Walking behind me right now is DJ. He's going to go get us some live looks from the floor and uh, maybe something during this next segment. As I introduce Richard, who is from AutoLeave, and I love this company because I love night vision and what it's doing, and it's so important because it's a safety issue. You and I had a lot of fun the other night driving around in a 750 BMW, an, an IL, I believe, um, yeah. and uh, it's certainly an executive car. We're just talking to BMW about it. We, you were showing me the night vision in 360, and we'll hopefully have that up in the next week or so, maybe even shorter, so the viewers can come along for the ride, the Terrifics. That's going to be great. Thank you for having me on that ride, and thank you for having me today. Well, thank you uh, for having me on that <laughs> ride. I just love that car. I was telling her, you remember when we were looking for that lens cap, which we found <laughs> later, by the way, uh, and we touched the carpet, and I was like, whoa. Oh. That it's is a so very cool. nice luxury car, yeah. and it has all the safety features, and of course, night vision is one of the safety features it has, and really love the night vision technology, because it, uh, it has not only pedestrian detection, but it actually has animal detection as well. In the U.S., there's over 1.1 million car deer accidents that occur uh, every year, uh, New York being one of the states that uh, has a high car deer accident rate. Um, this system will actually detect deer. It'll track where the deer is going, so you'll know whether the deer is crossing the road or whether it's just standing on the side of the road, and it'll warn you. So you'll know to be careful or change lanes or just know that they're out there. Or stop, maybe. Or stop, yes. Uh, I don't know. I said to you the other night, I don't know what the best thing to do when a deer is there. I never know. I'm always nervous. I'm like, oh. Uh. And, and this would be great on all roads. I mean, I saw it firsthand. It's really amazing. We couldn't see people, and it saw people. And I asked you, I said, how do I use this while I'm driving? I can't stare. It's on the screen, the navigation screen. I can't stare at the screen and drive. But you said very uh, smartly is use it like your rearview mirror. I think you can use it a little bit better than your rearview mirror, though, because I see it out of the core of my eye, and it's got color It's got color indicators. Yes. So when it goes yellow or red, I immediately know to look at it as opposed to glancing over every now and then. But I can also glance over. Also, you pointed out that in fog, in snowstorms, in bad rain, you can look at it to find where the road is or the lines in the road because it also detects that. Yeah, so, so think about even here in New York City. There's a, there's a program here called uh, Vision Zero in New yeah. York City. Th um, this is the one where de Blasio wants zero traffic fatalities in New York City by, uh, what, 2020? By 2024. 2024. Yes. And so I think that's great. It's a great initiative. Every city should have this initiative. And so why Night not Vision make can play a key role in getting to, to Vision Zero? Well, that's what I was going to say. It can play a key role. Why not make... Uh, night vision standard safety equipment in all vehicles like we have backup cameras, tire pressure, uh, Bluetooth, all this stuff. I said that to you the other night. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. It's not as maybe inexpensive as Bluetooth, but I certainly feel that with mass adoption, they can get the cost down as the technology grows into itself. They can get the cost down. And certainly it's something I think is worth paying for. Yeah, absolutely. With volume, price comes down. And think of the safety feature here in the city. You know, it's it's lit up New York City, but there's still a lot of shadows and there's a lot of pedestrians and cyclists in the city. So having a night vision system that detects the pedestrians and cyclists and tracks them, it'll, it increases your awareness and it will reduce traffic fatalities. You can see animals very small. You can see big animals. You can see all sorts of stuff. Uh, and, and it's really amazing. You can see buildings. You can see when we drove, we saw trees. You could see some of the needles in the trees, like the pine trees. It's a very detailed system. It's looking for temperature differences, so, so you can actually see the branches and the leaves in the trees. Um, and at night, you know, you're limited to what your headlamps can illuminate. So a lot of times you get tunnel vision because you're only seeing what the headlamps illuminate. You glance down at the night vision image and you can actually see clouds in the sky. You can see the moon and you can see a pedestrian well over 400 meters in front of the car. I think I barked at the moon while we were driving. <laughs> uh, can, tell me how it works. How does it work? Like what's the technology that goes into it? What does my car need to have? So there's an infrared camera that mounts mm -hmm. in the front of the car. 
uh, infrared uh, sensors are critical because they actually pick up body heat. So uh, animals give off heat, the human body gives off heat. Um, anything that gives off heat, we can actually detect that and then we track it. So we look for uh, pedestrians and animals, we detect it, and then we track it. Um, that detection you talked about, those yellow images, uh, in the BMW they, they color the pedestrians yellow and animals kind of an orange color. So that's the detection. That's kind of the warning that, hey, there's somebody out there. If you're not paying attention and you continue to drive toward the pedestrian or the animal, then you're going to get the warning. So that yellow is going to turn to red and you're going to get an audible alert as well. I think what's interesting is, you know, you think about it, you're using it as a, like a rear view mirror, you're glancing at it. But you can also, you know, and you don't want to take your eyes off the road, but you're not taking your eyes off the road. You can actually drive with it. I'm not saying to recommend that, but there were, like, when I would see a pedestrian that I couldn't see far off in the distance, I would focus more on the screen until, and I'd go back, I'd use my, my windshield as my rear view mirror, and then when I could see the person, then I would use the windshield as, you know, back on the road. Yeah. You never take your eyes off the road. And then with the, uh, the HUD, the, the heads-up display, you have... Uh, a further uh, ability to not have to look at this and take your eyes off the road. Yep, so BMW has a wonderful head-up display, mm -hmm. and on there you'll get your detection warnings of pedestrians and animals, and also the uh, uh, audible warning with the red when it goes from yellow to red. So it gives you plenty enough time to be able to react, slow down, or even stop the car. There are a lot of older cars on the road today. Uh, is there a way that you'll sell this as an aftermarket edition or that uh, that somebody will uh, se sell this under, you know, licensing it from you or something, uh, to sell it so that I could add it to my car that doesn't have it? So today, uh, Autoleave focuses on the OEM market, but mm -hmm. we do have a partner, FLIR, that uh, will be able to sell into the aftermarket. And, and, so. and FLIR is, uh, they make the infrared handheld cameras that uh, firefighters use, and now you can buy uh, for your iPhone or uh, at a plumbing yes. supply store to literally walk in and check walls and all sorts of stuff. Yep, that's so. that's correct. Yeah. FLIR uh, does a lot of industrial systems and commercial systems, and uh, they'll, they'll be offering an aftermarket system as well. And, it, and it's in conjunction with you guys? It's, it's our system, um, camera, an electronic control unit. Um, we partnered with them. We'll provide it to them, and and they'll actually uh, sell it out into the into the market. Is it something that would be hard to install in a car that doesn't have you know in the BMW they have a hole in in the in the hood for the camera. They they've got all the harnessing throughout the car. It's all done in the factory. It was all made for this uh, equipment. Is it is it something that's going to be hard? Obviously, you'll probably need to get it professionally installed. But is it something that's going to be hard to fit into every car and especially? You know, does it have to be in an exact location or could it be on the left side of the bumper or the right side of the bumper? So the system is pretty flexible, so okay. you can mount it on the left or right side of the bumper. There are some, some limitations to where you can mount it and there's some customizations uh, like any aftermarket product. Um, so we do recommend the OEM installation because sure. that one really is connected to the vehicle. We monitor the vehicle speed, the steering angles, the uh, lighting, the outside air temperature. Um, all that inputs go into our system to make it a more reliable and a better experience for the driver. I absolutely loved it. I was so impressed by it and I, I see it, you know, you started doing it in 2000 or it was in the first production car in 2000 uh, with the Cadillac. So and. Uh, it, it's taken a while to really, I mean, it, it has taken a while to catch on, and I don't really know why, because I think it was good back then. It's amazing now, but it was certainly good. Yep, the very first system launched in the Cadillac DeVille in 2000. Um, um, it, you know, it was a night vision system, had lots of benefits, but today's systems are really provide a beautiful image. You got to experience that, uh, the detail that you see in that image, um, plus the addition of pedestrian and animal detection are really critical. Yeah. Uh, Autoleave is all about saving lives, and, and this technology is going to help us save some lives. The most impressive technology in that 750 IL that we drove was your auto leave uh, night vision. I, I was very impressed with it. I love it. I love what you guys are doing. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, Michael, and I appreciate that. So. Before I let you go, what did you, as a kid, what car were you like, I gotta have that? What was the car for you? So as a kid, yeah. my car was the uh, Mercedes SL. Nice. Um, I like that car too. That was the Beverly Hills cop car. <laughs> that was Eddie Murphy drove that. Be beautiful yeah. car. And was that the was that the body style? That was the body okay, style. Yep. So so that that was my, my dream. I do have a sixty eight MGB, which nice. I, which I love and a great car to drive and work on. Um, and I'm currently driving a Cayenne, so uh, hopefully someday we'll we'll have night vision on that car too. That would be great, and that doesn't sound so bad at all. I mean, especially if you can get it into the Cayenne, then you can get into like the nine eleven would be nice. Because I'm thinking, like, 
at 110 miles an hour, you in a small car, you want to see a deer as far away as you can. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, get, get, being able to see a deer at 200 meters in front of you would be very critical if you're... That's something you're else we talked about, is we could see so far. So my lights, just to give everybody an example, my lights see about 40 to 80 meters, is that correct? Yep. My uh, uh, high beams give me an additional like 20 meters, so that's maybe 100. This is at minimum 200 meters, and we could see far beyond that. And the reality is you can see as far as the road can go, really, because we can see yeah. clouds and the moon and all sorts of stuff. But at 400 meters, that's where you're really starting to detect stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you can actually, um, they're colored in yellow for you already uh, in the uh, Cadillac and the Audi. Uh, we're putting yellow boxes around sure. around the, the pedestrians. Oh, so I could feel and, like I'm, I'm watching that show uh, Person of Interest. <laughs> yes. That's very cool. And and what about at the auto show? Is there anything that you want to check out that you're excited to see, or is there something you've already seen that you're like, wow? So what's new here for, for us, and, yeah. and I also am very interested in, is the, the Bentley Bentayga. Yeah. Um, it has night vision on it, so it's a brand new launch, and Bentley's first SUV, and I would love to drive it and actually experience the uh, the system as well. It would so. be pretty cool. And uh, Maserati seems like they're going to debut uh, later this afternoon, 1.50 p.m., two uh, SUVs. Yep, SUVs seem to be a popular thing. Jaguar had an SUV launch uh, last year. Yeah. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing how those go. And we do have uh, night vision in the X5, the X6 for BMW, sure. and also the Audi Q7. Excellent. So adding Bentley to that and hopefully getting it on other SUVs is a good thing. So night, night vision, as you experienced it, it works great in the city, but off-road, you also get a good experience with it. Yeah, the it, was, it was unbelievable out in the rural areas as well. Uh, it definitely in the urban areas it worked great. Yeah. It saved us from hitting two cops crossing the road, or me. I guess I would have. I would have. I was driving. I would have been <laughs> the one to go to jail. It's a good thing that's when I was driving slow. By the way, so I just you know, I want to say when they they didn't see the hood dive down for us slamming on the brakes, you know that was a good thing. Otherwise, they would have been like. Let me write you a little ticket right there. So, so being able to see them clearly yeah. in the night vision image was 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 great, yeah. and we also got to see a family getting into a minivan that we didn't see out of the windshield at all. Not at all. But we were surprised by the night vision system highlighted them right away. And and even we did the test with uh, the head-on uh, lights glaring at us, and Adam got out of his car to do the test and stood next to his car. And all I could see if I really stared there, really stared there, with us both standing still, was the bottom of his jeans. I couldn't see him at all. And with the night vision, I was able to see them clearly. Yeah, th think about your everyday driving. Um, you know, when you drive at night, there's oncoming traffic, and it blinds you. And what you're taught in driving school is that you're supposed to look down to the right corner and follow the lane in the road. I was never taught so. that. It was, it was the only question on the permit test I failed. That was the question. What do you do if you have zero visibility on the road? And I said you pull over and you stop and pull over. And, uh, you know, if it was if it was a rainstorm, what do you do? And the correct answer is you're right. You look into the corner to find the line of the road and, and stay with that. But with the night vision yeah. system, you can actually look at the image and you can see right past the glare of that oncoming traffic. Right. You can actually see your lane, so you can center yourself in the lane. And you can see if there's any pedestrians or cyclists that, that are out there that may be blinding your eye, but the night vision system sees it perfectly. Yeah, it's pretty cool technology. Uh, Richard, thank you so much. Auto Leave's a great yeah. company. You're an awesome guy. Please, you're welcome anytime on Be Terrific. Thank you, Michael. You guys are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. We do this for you, and we'll be back with your live continuing coverage of the New York International Auto Show 2016 as an official media partner right after this. Don't go anywhere.